Very nice. Oh, it is, it is, it is nice. It's good for me. It's, I, I like, I've got a lot of time for the youth. I used to, used to be one. Yeah. Small world. Yeah. No, I do. I, I do. When, when, when I encounter today's youngsters, I do, you know, I, I strive to understand, appreciate their behaviour, empathise, you know, rather than just generalise, right? Like, um, I, I, October last year, right, I was approached by these two um, little shits, right? <laughs> it's, 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 Halloween, it's Halloween, right? It's Halloween. I, I, I was leaving a pub, it was 11.30 p.m. No, not, not that ghetto, right? <laughs> <laughs> 11.30, these, these two kids, they, they trick-or-treated me in the street, OK? Now, call, call me old-fashioned. I believe that to be unacceptable, OK? They just rocked up out of the blue. Hey, trick-or-treat, bruv. Trick-or-treat. Hey, bruv, trick-or-treat, yeah? Trick or... Costumes designed exclusively by JD Sports, right? <laughs> hey, bruv, trick-or-treat, yeah? Trick-or... Um, oh, hold on, where are your costumes? Do you know what I mean? Wait, 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 you haven't got masks on, right? No, nah, no, nah, trick or treat, innit? Trick or treat! <laughs> trick or treat, fam! <laughs> trick or treat, bruv! Now, is it me? In these situations, right, I am a diplomat, OK? You know, because, yeah, I, like I say, I, I empathise with, with young people and, and I, I, I instinctively lean towards sensitivity, right? And also, you know, I, I don't like getting stabbed. So I, I, I was like, right, <laughs> hold on a minute, right? Hold on a second. OK? I'm, I'm in an adult establishment right now. I'm leaving an adult establishment, OK? It's, it's half 11 at night, right? I do not have any sweets on my person, OK? <laughs> the, the scornier one, he looked up at me, he goes, no, we just want money, innit? Just want money. <laughs> Bit of money, innit? I said, well, this is not technically trick or treat, is it? I mean, te technically speaking, this is, this is a mugging. That's what this is. <laughs> Outrageous, right? But, like, after I paid them, right, uh, I was, I was, my, the, my, my mate that I was with, he said, you know what, you should, you should, you should, you should moan about it, because he was like, us lot, we were exactly the same when we were their age, you know? And I thought, yeah, he's right. We were, we were, we were mouthy little shits. We were, <laughs> we were, but, but we, had, we, had, we had aspirations, right? Yeah, man, like, half of us wanted to be uh, legends. Uh, I'm not sure that's ever technically become an occupation. <laughs> <laughs> and the other, half wanted, the other half of us all wanted to be rappers. You know, I was in the latter category, right? I, I, I still am obsessed, obsessed with rap music, making it, listening to it, and then created transferable skills, yeah? Like, I've got, I've got this business idea, right? I've got this business idea. Um, it's, it's a rap-based business idea, OK? Uh, check, check this out, check this out. You, you, know, you, know, you know those companies that sell the, the legal templates, the letters, and you can just you can download them? Right, you can buy them. They've got the square brackets. And you just insert your name there. You know everything else. You know, the, you know the square brackets. You know what I'm talking. About? You know, you lot, man. <laughs> no, these, these, the square brackets. <laughs> right? You know what I'm talking about. They have them on the legal template. I was thinking, right, with, 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 with my knowledge of rap, right, I could create and sell to you the perfect lyrical template for a hit rap record, right? And all you'd need to do is add your personal details. And that'd be it, in the square brackets. It'd be simple, it'd be like, ah, 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 yeah, ah. Insert your name here, ah. insert your name here. Bitch, let me say it again, if it ain't clear, it's the one and only, insert your name here. <laughs> yeah, that's right, it's your name. Bitch, I'm the boss at the top of the game. I represent your town street name, postcode. <laughs> Shout out to a couple friends of yours that we don't know. That's right, girl. You're looking at a superstar. List the brand of your shades and your shoes and car. <laughs> I know you're feeling me, lyrical ability, cos I'm harder than an overused simile. <laughs> Ladies love me, and I'm one of the meanest guys. Drastically over-exaggerate your penis size. <laughs> there ain't a rapper messing with me this year. Maybe put a little singy bit here. <laughs> so if you step into me, your first lesson is getting smacked with your preferred weapon. <laughs> more cash, more girls, more fame. Your name, your name, your name. <laughs> uh, top 10 material, that is. Top 10, seriously. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, no, seriously. All right. Um, no, you know, you know what's weird? You know what's weird, right, about bringing rap in, 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 into stand-up? What I've found over the years is 
rap is not everyone's cup of tea. <laughs> right? <laughs> but it's cool, man. I, I'm, I'm used to a bit of animosity. You know, I've, I've, I've been to, 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 to Kent. You know, I've, I've, <laughs> I've seen the face of hatred. Right? <laughs> and, I, 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 and what I've realised is people hate what they don't understand. Right? And, and when you think about rap, it's, it's a slang-filled world of otherness. You know, so I, 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 I created, when I first started doing it, I created like a, basically like a, a the, the, these kind of visual aids as, a, as, as kind of a cultural icebreaker, if you will, right? And these visual aids, they're, they're basically I built them on cards in my glamorous assistant here. Here we go. Thank you very much. She's, she's beautiful, isn't she? <laughs> uh, so yeah, yeah, like, these visual aids, I use these, but, but believe it or not, right, over the years, I have actually developed enough middle class sensibility to know that uh, the visual aids can really benefit a uh, presentation, right? <laughs> but fortunately, you know, I'm still just working class enough to know nothing about PowerPoint, right? So, 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 so we're going to use these cards, okay? And I'm going to give you some stock rap phrases, okay? Some of, the, some of them you recognise, the ones you don't, I'll translate as we go. But we'll, we'll, we'll start simple. Check this out, ready? Yeah, blood wag one. Hello, friend. How are you? What's the tree, cuz? What are you up to? I'm all about peas. I'd like to make money. That was bare jokes. That was very funny. See, bare means very, but can also mean lots of. As in, yeah, I got bare gold on my watch, bruv. And positives and negatives understood. Peak, sick, big and bashy, they're all good, right? And deep, that's good, but can mean sad. And air, waste, bug and whack, they're all bad. Now, you want to describe the day you may have had? Well, Here's some believable features that you could add. I switched on him, blood. I went a bit mad. I sparked him in the grill, then I bounced in the whip. I hit him in the mouth, then I fled in my car. It was a mighty thing. It wasn't very hard. I lit one gash. I met a young lass. I what that nice. We had sex, all right? Trust, I bust a nut and I'm Audi. I ejaculated loudly and walked off proudly. Right? So many charming phrases that you might miss if they aren't translated. From the opaque to the blatant. Now let's try and analyze the following statement. This, this one's slightly, slightly more complex, but we'll, we'll work for it together. Here, check this out. Ready? <laughs> Move to me, blood, and your click get shanked. What the rascal? This is big things, fam. In a bashman, chung ting, and a gap. Ducking five old, bunning punk like black. All right, so like I say, not, not straightforward, but it, it can be interpreted word for word. Check this out. Right? Ready? If we ever came to blows, then I may have a knife. What the bloody hell? This is how I live my life. In a soiree with a lady and a gun. Avoiding the police, smoking drugs, having fun. Uh, slang 101. Ah, thank you. I actually had to drop that bit from my act ages ago. Yeah, because like whenever I'd do it at gigs, I had to, um, I wasn't able to let in any under 21s. So not because not of any adult content, it was just that they were the only ones young enough to know how old some of the slang was getting. <laughs> <laughs> so I, ended up, I started, started getting heckled from the crowd. Like, people be like, all right, bruv, all right, bruv, you wavy, that shit is par. <laughs> I'd be stood there going. <laughs> I beg your pardon. You... <laughs> Would you mind awfully just repeating that, please? <laughs> Quite awkward. <laughs> Rap has changed forever, I mean, for better or for worse. Rap music has changed, for worse, for worse. I don't know if you ever listen to the radio. Some of this contemporary rap music is bullshit to me. Now, when, 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 I hear, when I hear some of that bubblegum music on the radio, that's when I become like anti-rap. Do you know what I mean? All of a sudden, I, I, get, I become like prejudice against my own art form. I get anti-rap. Even, even my stand-up show, I was going to call it Doc Brown, rapist. Right, but then... Um... <laughs> Some of the venues got a bit. Yeah. <laughs> I, get, I, get, I get paranoid about what people think about me, you know, and then I think, oh, maybe I'm overthinking things. Then I think, well, maybe that's what they want me to think. <laughs> no, no, dude. Like, like I, I, was, I, was, I was in a bathroom, I, 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 was, I was looking in a mirror, and I convinced myself that my hair was starting to thin, right? And I thought, you know what, entertainment business, anyhow I start going bald, I'm getting a hair transplant, right? And that's all there is to it. Actually, I got, I got online and started checking out. Some of, the, some of the big companies trying to find out what the process is, what the cost is, right? Check this out, they don't do afro. <laughs> and, and, and what's really messed up about that is they do do ginger. <laughs> now, 
Hey, listen, before we get any complaints, I don't have anything against the ginger people, OK? In fact, I, I, I support their struggle, OK? <laughs> it strikes a chord with me. <laughs> but I did start thinking to myself, what, how, how, many, how many ginger people are there on the planet? Do you know what I mean? And how many black people? Right? I mean, ignoring us, it, it doesn't even make any commercial sense. Right? I don't, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to stand here on, on television and try and tell you that the people that make the hair are prejudiced. No, that'd be ridiculous. What I'm saying to you is that oversight hmm? <laughs> to ignore us, be it subconscious or otherwise, is inherently racist. <laughs> like, you know, like, like plasters. the elastoplast box <laughs> flesh colored <laughs> really <laughs> who's flesh <laughs> Ra rage rage is key to rap you gotta understand that right rage is vital you have that fire in your belly you know i think of all my mates who rap they you know they they, they, they you could give them a, a topic like police Race, politics, you know, anything will get them fired up, it'll inspire their lyrics. I mean, me, I, I, I couldn't get angry and start rapping about politics. Do you know what I mean? I'm too much of a fence sitter. Too wishy-washy, I'm apathetic. You know, me, I'd be like, fuck Nick Clegg, he's a wannabe. However, I do agree with some of his policies. <laughs> but it does, it, does make me, it does make me wonder, is there, is there anything, is there any one topic that could get me fired up enough to come back and take the rap game by storm, you know? And then I realized, right? There is one thing, there's only one thing that could make me near homicidal. Yeah, this is called my property, right? I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. I bring you to my house as a friend in my kitchen. You offered to make the tea. Naturally, I say yes, you're my guest, so I take the offer gratefully. But then what I see made my heart burst. You only gonna put the fucking milk in first. <laughs> You must be out of your mind Looks like you went and poured about half a pint Now even with the boiling water My tea's already lukewarm Man, where the fuck were you born? <laughs> now nah, you destroyed a thing that was sacred Pour it down the sink, let me show you how to make it <laughs> Tea bag in first Pour the water on top Shut up, man, I'll tell you when to stop <laughs> Then you'll know exactly how much milk is required Making assumptions on how I like it Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Don't let the tea bag sit there brewing. You gotta stir straight away, don't stop. Otherwise you get that weird scum on the top. Uh, where's that stuff, man? <laughs> and now you put my sugar in, what'd you leave it for? Didn't even stir it in, you're unbelievable. What'd you think it would disintegrate itself? Bruv, you need to go and see a shrink and get some help. You chose the wrong brother's cuppa to mess with. Now go get me your mother digestive. <laughs> Hell away from my cup, bitch. Don't even meddle with my kettle, don't touch it. Man, go sit down, go watch telly, and give me back my teaspoon, bruv. You're not ready. <laughs> I've been Doc Brown, thank you very much. <laughs>